Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hamas rioters paid $100 per day to attack Israel. Funding came from Obama. There has been much talk in recent days of the protests and violent riots on the border between Israel and Gaza, with extensive coverage of the deaths and injuries that occurred among the peaceful Palestinians which were blamed solely on the evil Israelis by the liberal media. But in reality Israel has shown restraint at what were actually Hamas-incited protests and riots that involved the terrorist group paying Palestinians to participate, according to Daniel Greenfield of Front Page Mag, who exposed the absurdity of the media coverage with a biting opening paragraph. Hamas supporters in Gaza held the world's first peaceful protest with hand grenades, pipe bombs, cleavers and guns. Ten explosive devices were peacefully detonated. There were outbursts of peaceful gunfire and over a dozen kites carrying firebombs were sent into Israel where they started 23 peaceful fires. And Israeli soldiers peacefully defended their country leaving multiple Hamas attackers at peace, Greenfield wrote. Greenfield noted that despite the media focus of the past few days, the Hamas-led protests and violent riots have actually been ongoing since late March, and offered proof obtained by a UK Telegraph reporter in April that Palestinians were being paid $100 per day by Hamas to take part, more if they suffered injuries or died. That reporter discovered that merely participating in the protests earned $100, while being shot, whether with real or rubber bullets, garnered $200, severe injuries netted $500 and death warranted a $3,000 payment to the surviving family. Considering an estimated 40,000 to 50,000 Gazans participated in the most recent protests and riots, which were really an effort to breach the barrier separating Gaza from Israel so Hamas terrorists could rush through and do their worst, that event likely cost Hamas millions of dollars. Set aside for a moment the dichotomy between Hamas paid protesters earning $100 per day or more to set fires and sling rocks as compared to the Israeli Defense Force soldiers they faced off against earning a mere $13 per day and take a guess where the largely bankrupt Hamas government that oppresses Gaza obtained the money to reward poor protesters and rioters so handsomely. If you guessed the Islamic Republic of Iran, you would be correct. But even that terrorism-supporting nation isn't exactly the most prosperous on earth, or even in the Middle Eastern region, so where did it get the money from to fund Hamas? The answer lies with those pallets loaded with cash and gold delivered to Iran in cargo planes by the Obama administration to help secure the release of hostages and Iran's involvement in the ridiculous nuclear deal. The media has played down the payments as being as little as $1.7 billion, but the Washington Free Beacon reported in September 2016 that sworn testimony before Congress revealed the total amount of cash delivered to Iran over a two-year period could be as much as $33.6 billion. Bearing in mind the mass protests that have rocked the streets of numerous Iranian cities for several months by poor and unemployed Iranians fed up with the Mullah's regime, and considering the nation's crumbling infrastructure, it is obvious those several billions of dollars weren't spent building up the country or helping the people. Rather, it went into the pockets of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, where it was then distributed to Iranian-supported rebels and terrorists in hot spots around the globe, most especially Hezbollah militants in Lebanon and Syria, the Houthi rebels in Yemen, Shiite militias in Iraq and of course the Hamas terrorists in Gaza, among others. Thus, the billions of dollars given to Iran by former President Barack Obama have, in turn, not only funded rebellions and deadly terrorism around the globe, they almost certainly funded violent attacks by Hamas against our nation's chief Middle Eastern ally. That probably isn't exactly the Obama legacy he and his minions were hoping to achieve when they essentially purchased a faulty nuclear deal with Iran. But what else could be expected in dealing with radical Islamists who openly fund and support terrorism? It's stuff like this that got President Donald Trump elected in the first place, and if the liberal media continue to side with Hamas and Iran over America and Israel, they are pretty much guaranteeing his re-election in 2020. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.